Hello, friends, and welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior 5. We have all of our mechs fixed up. We got ourselves a nice Warzone contract. We're bringing our brand new Assassin to the field today. SRM2 LRM5 medium laser, just a stock build on there. And we have gone for full salvage, a little bit of C-bill payout, and a little bit of damage co coverage, getting us through the uh, just the repairs without much of a problem. So our goal today is actually to find some things to make the assassin better. Ooh, it is dark. And you notice I have got a new HUD. One of the extra mods I've added in, as well as an AI mod for our friendlies. That'll get them to just operate a little bit... A uh, little bit more sane. And it looks like we don't have a minimap today. Nope. Minimap is bugged out. Let's do what we can on this J. Edgar here. Unfortunately, unfortunately we're losing lock. Oh, we got ourselves a SRM-6 assassin. And SRM-12 commando. That was tasty right there. All right, he's going to go down. There he goes. All right, solid. Very little damage there. Yeah, the assassin's hurting. Our guys, on the other hand, very fresh. Time to take out some tanks. There we go. Stock Locust 1v. There's the guy we gotta watch out for. LRM tank coming in. There we go. Flamer J. Edgar, not a problem. Spider. And a Gauss Irby. There's our target. You gotta go, buddy. We're gonna send all our guys in on that guy. There's the big zoom. Always a little lag when you're getting into that advanced zoom. There we go, everything down by the Gauss on him. And there goes Irby completely. I know the night vision is a little, little sketch, but... Better than it is stock. Ah, uh, just missed a cynic torso there. There he goes. Alright, we got a warrior. Scorpion. I see a commando over there. Not a bad one. New target acquired. Want to try to get that VTOL down first. Target destroyed. Tango down. And now we can go for Mr. Commando here. And let's just try to get him down as fast as possible. He's got some damage output right there. 
SRM is going to be in the le right arm and the chest. All right, we got a crit on the four. All right, we got to get out of the way of that guy. And looks like we got, ooh, a burst to Irby, and we are not in a good position right now. Let's try to get out of these. All right, we got one side down on Irby. And there goes Irby. All right, we're 12 of 15. We got two mediums on the board now. Uh, we got a Cicada and... Oh, Phoenix Hawk. That guy's nasty. Yeah, get that guy down. We definitely want to try to get the LBX down on this guy first. Because he is going to slap some damage our way. This wouldn't be a bad pickup either. Oh, we lost ammo. He got into our... Um, we got lagged. This is bad. We're down to just medium lasers here. Our guys did not do anything for us here. Hopefully we can get this guy down without losing any more of our mech. All right, there's one arm, so that's some of his pulses down. Oh, that was a big hit right there. All right, he's down. Alright, now let's see if our guys can take out the, uh, the Cicada. And as soon as he's down, we definitely want to be scooting for the evac. Check your target. Now don't run in front of me, buddy. There we go. And we can just keep popping LRMs at this guy. Unfortunately, the ammo we lost was the LBX. Alright, now we gotta make the long, slow walk to the pickup zone? And we're just going to send these guys after whoever's coming after us so we can get to the evac zone just use them as blockers. For the most part, they're actually in pretty good shape. Uh, Britain's a little hurt in the Assassin. But anything they can bring down is actually a bonus on the salvage. Yep. Yeah, go get that one. Oh, they took out the assassin completely. Target destroyed. Focus target updated. All right, well, sacrifices had to be made, and now we got to make some repairs. Fortunately, the Javelin and the Jenner are in pretty good shape. But this is 
100% a jump to an industrial hub. We definitely need to minimize our uh, our repairs. All right, so looks like we're definitely picking L LB excuse me LBX ammo here. We'll pick the spider for money. You can also get reinforced cockpits. Looks good. That's a nice, uh, nice set of picks there. Looks like Lieutenant Britton got absolutely wrecked. That's going to be a big repair bill on fixing that guy up. All right, so we have a look at the map. We can shoot right over here to Broadus. It's close. It's a minimal cost to actually get there. And as always, we have, since we're going to sell the spider, fire starter for sale, not bad. What we want to do is we want to drop the spider down completely. That way it strips everything off of it. Oh, we still have both missiles in here, which is nice. We just need to replace the medium laser and possibly the core. Yeah, we need to replace the core on here, which is big money. And we don't have any that we can slap on here. All right, let's take a look at the market. Well, repairs first. So we go, we need details, repair all. And let's check the market out. We want to look at upgrades. We don't have, oh yeah, we have reinforced legs we can buy. That replaces that. And then let's look at ammo, LBX. We need one. We're actually going to get a couple of them just so that we have uh, extra on hand. All right. So now, go back to the inventory. We're going to get ourselves reinforced cockpit for protection there. We're going to get reinforced leg on that leg where we have the LBX ammo. And we are good to go. Not too bad at 120,000, but let's get the work started. Now we're at 1.9 million with minor repairs on both the Jenner and the Javelin. We're going to sell the Spider out of cold so storage because we really need that. And now let's check the market. We're going to look at engines. There was a 280 standard. Now that's going to cost us 1.7. I'll give you an idea. If we were to do the same thing with an XL, which we actually can buy, they're four and a half. XLs are good money. If you can get those picks, good to have. Now I think we want to go a little different with this guy. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to go in here, we're going to drop the medium laser, we're going to repair everything. Lose the jump jets, lose the engine. Ammo. We're going to pull out the SRM completely. Now here we go. Endo. We're going to drop all the jump jets so we have some nice tonnage to work with. And we need to get ourselves that 280 engine. We can actually go a little bit lower since 
we don't need that much speed. We can go down to, I would think, a 235, which actually saves us quite a bit. So let's put the 235 in. And now missiles, LRMs. LRM5s are two tons each, and we've got three more slots, which gives us six. What about tens? Tens with Artemis, they're six tons each. Fifteens are seven. Which we got one, and we'll do two streams. So let's put the 15 in, and then the two fives in the other torso, and a five here. And then we've got three, two and a half tons worth of ammo that we can add to the mech. which we need to buy. So let's buy up all the ammo we can. The cooling's a little bit low. I think we're going to drop one LRM-5 for heat sink. Uh, no, that's... There's the ammo. There's the ammo. Ammo, ammo, ammo. And we got to put one of the LRMs back in. And we're going to get some heat sinks. And we went one too many. So that gives us a little better cooling. Is definitely going to be backlining. We're not going to worry about it. So we'll leave him with his nice LRM 25. Plenty of ammo. Actually, it's even more ammo than we really need. Let's max out the armor here. We'll go with a ton and a half of ammo, which is low for a mech that uh, a person would be running, but it's just fine for an AI pilot. Let's start the work there. Definitely have some money issues. So, well, do we drop the locust? That's the question. Because it's 50-something days, and if we hold on to the Locust, it's one more mech that we can bring to the battlefield. I think that's what we're going to do here. We're going to leave the mech available to, to us. 27 days, 150,000. This way we can get to the system, and we can just jump right into a mission. We don't have to wait. We don't have to sit around. We're being productive. This way we're using our time in the best manner possible. So let's go in. We've got... Uh, we can go with the defense here. Or a demolition. Defense, we get full everything. And we still have actually a negotiation point left over. We're going to drop Lieutenant Britton and the Assassin. Um, let's get Freeman back on there. And then we can get Cisco here on the Locust. And we're good to go. So let's ready it all up. We're definitely running under tonnage here, but we've got plenty 
in the bank right now. At this point, uh, we want to look to upgrade the Locust, upgrade the Javelin. We have been hired to defend a local farming commune from incoming hostiles. They will provide whatever help they can muster, but don't expect too much from them. All right, so all we got to do is get in the zone right now and activate the defense. And then just it's wave clear time. This isn't bad. Let's see. We got ourselves an AC turret. Two AC2 turrets. Hostile forces just cross the perimeter, Commander. They're heading your way. All right. Show them to me. What have we got? Oh, there they are. And a Manto Core coming in right off the bat. Alright. Come on, give me the harasser here. Alright, where's the next one? There we go. SRM-20 carrier, got to go quick. That's a pretty nasty Irby right there, burst fire 5. No longer so nasty anymore. Try to get that VTOL down quick. And then we go for the Locust. Hello, Locust! There we go. We're going to focus down this urban mech right here. He's got some nice range. And some rate of fire there. Ah, uh, there we go. Your auto cannons are down. Irby, you have no power here. Get the Jenner. this guy down. Alright, we're down to 44%. Ooh. We need to get these guys down where our guys are going after the Jenner. Oh, we're really low. We need to kill faster. Come on, give me Irby. Thank you. That guy's... Well, no bonus payout for us. There's still three enemies on the board. 
Our guys are tangling with the spider over there. And we got a double AC5 blackjack back here. He's gonna hurt. That was a nice center torso hit by him. Let's just keep maintaining the dance here. Get that one, guys. We're into his structure. Pretty solidly, also. There we go, we got him. Nice torso shot there. There we go. Well, we didn't get the any of the secondary objectives done, but we did manage to get the mission accomplished, and that's the most important thing right now. Get the miss mission done, get the salvage, and get out. So let's see what we have on the salvage screen. Always the best part, picking up the loot. Nice, we got a blackjack on the board, the assassin as well. And we can definitely afford to make this pick. So we're gonna take this guy and then We've got four more points. I think what we want to do is go for some reinforcements and a double heat sink. That sounds good. We can get those reinforcements onto our mech. Let us soak a little bit more damage. Our guy's all looking good. So what have we got next? Let's take a look at the repairs. The Assassin's only going to be 11 days. This one, double LRM5 PPC. You're not bad, dude. And he was legged out. So we should still, yeah, he's still got his engine. Definitely a guy that we can put together and, and get working. We're one ton of ammo, but we can 100% fix that. So I believe we're going to hold on to this guy instead of just tossing him. Gives us a little bit more firepower as far as... I mean, this is a definite upgrade on the Jenner. 100%. So the repairs are going to cost by doing it here. But we're not actually going to save enough as far as time and travel by going to uh, an industrial hub. So let's take the next contract, the demolition. We just max out all of our negotiation here. Not that much in the way of salvage but we'll make it work so we're going to drop the locust here and we're going to put 
this assassin here because Starkey's got a little better missile skills than Cisco. And Cisco is going to take the Javelin. And we got 12 days for the mission to start. 155 out of 190 tons. And let's get to it. Nice easy demolition. Always a nice uh, quick mission to do. With nine salvage shares, we do have enough for, like, say, an assassin. Destroying the morgue's industrial infrastructure. Will Forty tons would be about our something our benefactors are willing to spend best we can hope for. To see done. Now, I have to say, I don't really know why we haven't had a mini map this entire time. My might have been an issue with uh, loading things up this morning. But we should get it back in the next episode. VTOL in the air, gotta come down. SRM carrier always have to go. Nice hardened turret got to go. Ouch. This guy's got all the SRMs. He's also got an open back. And we got the laser... Presser platform up there. Let's try to get some of these tanks down. LRM carrier, you gotta go. You always want to get carriers down as fast as possible. Early game, they're not too bad. You get into the late game, and they are just. Ugly beasts. Try to get some of these defenders down before we get into trashing the uh, the base. Playing Ring Around the Rosie with this guy a little bit. That hurt him. There we go. AC-10, stock Irby right there. That turret's got to go. Let's just keep getting vehicles down all over the place. There's another flyer on the floor. There's our buddy the spider. Not much left of him. All right. Let's get some damage in here while we hunt Irby. There's Irby. No AC-10, no threat.
Oh, that was a solid miss right there. There we go. That Irby's not a threat anymore. I'm not really going to stress the Locust too much. Of course, now the Locust decided he's going to stress me, so... We're going to play tag in the buildings and we're going to destroy the base while we're... Any stray shots are going to make... There we go. Excuse me, coming through. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. You guys have drive through? Uh, we can't walk through that. And I feel like walking through that might be a bad idea. This area is on his last legs, Commander. Just one final push, and then we can all go home. I don't see any hostiles on the board right now. Oh, there we go. Machine Gun Spider, you're not much of a threat, buddy. And there's drive through done. Yeah, we've got more than enough as far as salvage goes that we don't need to worry about anything else. And since we've got the structure of our left leg exposed, though we haven't taken too much damage there, I think it's a good time to just go ahead and get out. So let's get booking. One thing I love about this, uh, this 9D, speed. I love being able to go almost 100 kph in a medium. Oh, here is our ride. Rihanna, take us home. Perfect. And everybody's in good shape, too. So we managed, we minimized all of our damage there. We get to the salvage. Get our picks together. See, see what we like. See what we want. Reputation's building up. Oh, let's see. And pick the commando. I, and then a uh, little bit of money. Looks good. Nice. Total damage is just about what one damage pick would be. Perfect. Just the way I li like it. I hope that's the way you all liked it too. If you did, don't forget the three S's. Smash, smash it, share it, sub it, smash that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more content. Hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.